Okay, hands up if like me, in your freezer you've got all those odd bits of game. You know, the odd pigeon breasts, pheasant breasts, you know, a few old venison steaks, anything like that. You know, when you get, you know, to the end of the game season or like me halfway through and you find all this stuff and you think, what am I going to do with it? You know, all these little packages hidden away. Well, here's the answer. These are my monster game burgers. They are fantastic. I've just made these and now I'm going to show you how to do them and they are stunning so what we'll do is we'll get set up and I'll show you how it's done the Muckscott Reproject Burger so when I make my burgers I'm going to use a few bits of kit I'm going to use uh, you know a mincer attached to a food processor but you can just blitz it in a food processor or you know cut it finely whatever or one of those old hand crank ones and I'm actually going to use a burger press but you don't have to use a burger press you can just make patties in your hand pat them out shape them and do that so let's get on with it. Right, let's make these burgers. And here in front of me, I've got a lovely selection of meats. I've got some wild mallard, some duck, some pheasant, some bits of venison, some rabbit trim, a few loins. And I've got the pork back fat, obviously, because the game is really, really lean. So I'm going to mix that with just a little bit of fatty pork belly as well. And we're going to put this through the mincer on this old school thing. This is a fantastic bit of kit. This is 25 to 30 years old and it runs like a dream. It is just awesome. So we're going to mix that up and we're going to add a few more ingredients and we're going to start pressing these bad boys out. Right, I'm going to fire up this old beast. Now this is, like I said, 25 to 30 years old. I mean, I've had cars that don't last that long. So I'm just going to fire it up. Now the trouble with this, it is a bit quiet so you might not hear it. So I'm just going to put a few bits through. You can hear me. So there's my lovely mixed game mixer. I mean, I normally make burgers every game season. You know, my default burgers are the hopping hot bunny burgers, which is just rabbit, you know, with chili. Uh, when I do deers for people and I have all the trim left, I make some nice fun and some burgers. But I thought I'd use up all the bits and bobs, you know, and make a mixed wild game burger. I mean, once you've minced that bit, it's so, so simple and it's pretty much entirely up to you what you want to put in it I mean I've got some parsley left in the fridge so we get some of that in get some parsley in good handful the breadcrumbs one good handful of breadcrumbs used to pour those old crusts and loaves just blitzed it put it in the tub and last night just gently sauteed some onions in some olive oil that goes in so so far we've got our minced rabbit pheasant venison pork pork fat and our duck handful of breadcrumbs handful of chopped parsley and those few onions and now we can you know customize this baby we're going to pimp that burger so we're going to choose some herbs spices whatever salt and pepper then we'll press them out Right, into my mix. I live on the edge. Got to be some chilli flakes. I like it quite hot. Now there is quite a bit of meat there, so a good handful. I'm going to put some thyme in. And I'm going to leave it at that. So I'm going to crank quite a bit of pepper in. I mean, you've really got to... I wouldn't say over-season, but you really have got to season it well. So I'm going to put a good pinch of salt in and one egg that will bind it all together now what will you do there's no good way of doing this no glamorous way is get your hand in give it a good old mush up make sure it's all mixed so get it all through your fingers lovely then what we're going to do is i'm going to test a bit of this by just taking a little ball rolling it out and then pan frying that bit then it'll give you a rough idea of your seasoning your taste you know and then you can also alter it then you want a bit more chili a bit more salt a bit more pepper or you want to add something else in i might add a bit of smoky paprika i'm not sure yet but give it a good mix i'm going to roll a ball of that and then i'm going to test it so 
I've got my little tester bit, make a little ball, just pat it, you know, we're only testing. You don't want it too wet, too dry. If it's too wet, add a few more breadcrumbs. Look at that little beauty frying. Imagine if you get some of those little rolls and you have your mates around, have a barbie and do some of these actually, mini burgers like these, a few cold beers, sun going down. That's rock and roll, baby. That is looking lovely. And there is an art to cooking a burger. You want to be able to seal the meat, but you want to be able to cook it still. So if you've got it too high, you will seal the outside and you won't be able to cook the middle. Obviously too low, what you do, you don't sear it, you know, you start stewing it, start steaming, you know, and it just looks horrible. You don't get that caramelization, which will seal all that lovely flavor in. Man, I'm gonna get me a job at Mackey D's. I could flip these bad boys all day. Have a look at that. Muck Scott Reproject Burger. Coming to a town near you. So I just uh, tested that burger and it was lovely. You know, it's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. I've decided to add another handful of breadcrumbs and I think it needs a little bit more salt in. So I'm going to put some more salt in, give that one more final mix and we're going to press these out then and they will look stunning. They taste stunning. Nice and moist with that pork fat. Right, we don't do things by abs here on the Scott Reed project. I've got all the gear and I actually have got an idea. So this is a portioner or an ice cream scoop. Just gonna give it some, you know, decent sizes, filling up that bowl. And then we'll have some nice even burgers, which will all cook at the same time. So I'll get these portioned out. And we'll press the beauties. I've got actually got a professional press there. They do cost a lot of money. But you can go to, you know, the local store or the kitchen shop and they do the little plastic ones, which I use for years and they're just brilliant. But these are monster burgers they call for a monster press. So I'll continue with this and we'll be back. Burgertastic. So let's press a couple out. Now this takes me back to my apprenticeship. When I started in the butchery, you know, you definitely weren't allowed to touch any meat. You just have to ban burgers out all day. You'd be there standing there like a lemon, radio on, a cup of tea, giving it one of them, and you'd end up with a shed load of them. And then you say, how many more do you want? You go, only another 999. But they look amazing. Fantastic. Looks almost good enough to eat. I'll bang these other few out then. Then I'm going to put them in the fridge to chill, to all set nicely and all the flavours get to know each other. And let's cook one. So there's my Leaning Tower of Burgers. I shall chill these now for a bit. They look fantastic. That's one I'll have a Scooby snack. Now it's the moment of truth. Here's my lovely burger. As you can see, looks fantastic. Take the wrapper off. Place it gently in there. So we'll let it seal one side, turn it over, seal the other. We'll turn that heat down gently and we'll just let that tick over then till it's cooked. And then the dilemma, do I or don't I toast the bun? It's that hard. Look at that, the smells coming off this are amazing. Nearly time to build this beauty now. It's looking fantastic. Give it a few more minutes and we're on. I've got the bun toasting. Jobs are good then. Right, let's build it. The bun's been toasted. Fantastic. First of all, I'm gonna go very English. No mayo, horseradish sauce. With some of that. Get my lettuce on. Turn my pan off. Get this beautiful thing. Plonk it on there, like that. Put a tomato. And a squirt. Some chili sauce. And there you have my fantastic game burger. Let's cut into this thing. What a fantastic looking thing. 
put that on the board we can have a good look see how she looks fantastic I suppose I better have a go That is stunning. That horseradish as well. All that game. Fantastic. Time for a beer now. That's one half finished off. I'm gonna be this half now. Thanks for watching.